Welcome to the second stop on our itinerary, Skagway, Alaska. The ship arrived in Skagway at 7 a.m. and we had a 8.15 p.m. departure, which meant we could take our time getting off of the ship since our train excursion didn't start until 12 noon. We booked the VIP railway excursion at a cost of $3.99 per person. We were picked up by a shuttle and transported to the private railway car where we had a tour guide waiting to accompany us on the tour. The lunch provided in the VIP car was actually pretty good and we had unlimited drinks served to us by our tour guide. I started with a mimosa before switching to Sprite while Mr. Creakinies enjoyed quite a few beers. The VIP car also had a private restroom so no worries after enjoying the unlimited mimosas, wine, and beer. This train excursion was up and back on the same track. No stops in Canada on this tour. While Mr. Creakinies didn't care to hang off the back platform, for me it was one of the best things about the VIP car. Most of my time was spent hanging off that railing, marveling at the steep drops in the snow-capped mountain pass.
Was the VIP excursion pricey? Yes. Did we think that this was worth the cost? Also, yes. We really enjoyed it and the tour guide was excellent. We had time after our excursion to walk around Skagway and explore a little bit. We enjoyed the Klondike Gold Rush National Historical Park. We thought it was worth a visit. We didn't pop into the touristy shops, that's not really our thing, but we did walk several blocks of the residential area a little bit further on the edge of Skagway. Our dinner tonight was at Le Bistro. We thought this was excellent and would dine here again. My escargot was cooked perfectly. It was tender and garlicky. Cream of mushroom soup was excellent. Duck was perfect, tender, not too fatty. And for dessert, I couldn't pass this up. Uh, I'm a big fan of meringue, so this was right up my alley. We walked along the pool deck after dinner, enjoying the brisk air and the Alaska night sky. Absolutely beautiful. Before making our way inside, the ship was very subdued. It was so quiet that it never felt busy to us.